dear students in lecture 1 in the subject pharmacognosy and phytochemistry 1 today we are going to study primary metabolites in unit 5 my sir dr raju r wadekar in unit 5 the syllabus consists of plant products in which we are going to study about fibers such as cotton jute and hemp thereafter we are going to study under the heading of plant products hallucinogens teratogens natural allergens in detail subsequently we are going to study about primary metabolites with respect to the general introduction detailed study with respect to chemistry sources preparation therapeutic uses and their commercial utility as pharmaceutical aid and or medicines for the following primary metabolites under the class carbohydrate proteins and enzymes lipids and marine drugs now we'll start with the very first topic in unit 5 that is plant products now in our syllabus they have mentioned about two plant products which such as fibers and different components or different uh, plant products such as hallucinogens teratogens natural allergens but in lecture 1 we are only going to focus on plant products that is plant fibers cotton jute and hemp now we'll start with the plant fibers uh, as a plant products so this natural fibers that mainly consist of or uh, they are mainly obtained from vegetable animals and mineral fibers which are having huge commercial market globally they are imported exported and used in various domestic industry as well as in many pharma industry many pharma industries so that is why the global economy is mainly maintained by these natural fibers which are mainly derived from plants so the plant derived vegetable fibers such as bast leaf and seed hairs the fibers pro- provide strength and support to the plant the main chemical constituent of vegetable fiber is cellulose lignin and hemicellulose lignin is a uh, type of pigment present in the plant fibers whereas plant fibers are also referred to as cellulosic or lignocellulosic fibers next <clears throat> in plant uh, fibers the plant bast fibers are flax jute and hemp which are utilized primarily for fabrics linen flax and also in preparation of bags and ropes the primary leaf fibers are abaca and sisal which is widely used plant fibers such as cotton coir and kapok are the main seed fibers with with cotton by far the most important commercial vegetable fiber mainly used whereas these bast fibers are obtained from the plant after harvest by reaping plant fibers such as leaf fibers are obtained by crushing and scraping followed by washing whereas vegetable fibers are generally graded according to the color luster cleanliness strength fineness and uniformity plant fibers which are mainly obtained from the other sources or the under this animal fibers produced by animals or insects are proteinic in combination whereas plant fibers are cellular in combination whereas mineral fibers is mainly mined from certain types of rocks such as asbestos which is mentioned here in the figure whereas man made fibers are divided into two types or that is regenerated fibers and synthetic fibers like rayon nylon and so on Now the very first natural fiber, plant fiber, we are going to study about its source. That is cotton. Cotton is also called as cash crop. So cotton is consisting of epidermal trichomes or hair of the seed. It is also called seed seed hairs of the genus Gossypium herbacea and Gossypium barbadens, belonging to family Malvaceae. So dear students, be thorough with the genus that is Gossypium. herbacea and gossypium barbadens of cotton and which belongs to the family malvaceae and this cotton is mainly obtained from as a seed fiber method of preparation for absorbent cotton which is a major 
component of this whole cotton fiber which is used uh, widely in various surgical dressings so these seeds covered with the hairs are known as balls and these balls are collected dried and further taken to ginning press wherein the trichomes are separated from the seeds so th therefore after separating the trichomes from the seeds they are available into two forms that is short and long hairs which are separated with each other thereafter the hairs with short length are known as linters which are mainly used for the preparation of manufacture of absorbent cotton while long hairs are used for preparation of in textile industries in preparation of cloth or fibers or fabrics short hairs are taken to the machine known as cotton opener and where it is followed by uh, treated with dilute soda solution or soda ash solution under pressure for about 10 to 15 hours finally it is packed and wrapped and sterilized by gamma radiations mind well students gamma radiation is very important which is a method of sterilization of absorbent cotton properties of cotton it is white odorless tasteless uh, short hairs trichomes and they consist of this fiber consists of 2.5 to 4.5 cm in length average length we are discussing here and 25 to 35 micron in diameter whereas these trichomes are unicellular flattened and ribbon like which slightly thicken at round apex whereas raw cotton contains 90% of cellulose 70 to 8% of moisture wax fat and remains of protoplasm and purified cotton or what we say which is prepared manufactured from the raw cotton absorbent cotton is entirely cellulose and only with 6% to 7% of moisture chemical test this is mainly identified by uh, these fibers with the help of the test like uh, iodine water so cotton fibers in iodine uh, water and dry it after drying <coughs> add 80% of sulfuric acid the trichomes assume purplish blue or bluish green in color whereas jute hemp wool silk nylon and alginate yarn and acetate rayon this fiber will fail to give the positive test to this iodine water and sulfuric acid test whereas ammonical copper oxide solution which is also called a coxsum reagent uh, the fibers get dissolved cotton fiber dissolve in this coxsum reagent with the formation of balloons while absorbent cotton dissolves completely with uniform swelling so these are the very important tests that one should know students should know uh, at the time of examination even in exam many of time they they ask applications of cotton cotton is used in filtering medium and in surgical dressings it is also used as an insulating material absorbent cotton absorbs blood mucus pus and prevents the wounds from infection 